Hello everybody, it's Ralph here. Um, as you'll see from the email, I am here to introduce our reading plan for the month of April. Now normally I would do this uh, in the form of an announcement at the front of the church, but uh, given the circumstances that's not possible. So I thought uh, rather than just an email, I would send a video message and send greetings uh, and tell you a bit about uh, the reading that we're going to do during April. Before I do that, I'd just like to take time uh, to think about our fellowship and think about uh, our separation. And I'd like to say a big thank you to those who are putting in so much effort uh, to compensate for that. Uh, think of our home groups, our small groups within the church and the leaders there uh, setting up uh, Zoom meetings, uh, keeping in contact by a WhatsApp. Um, and it's just a tremendous way that we can keep the fellowship together and keep those close bonds as we go through these uh, difficult uh, times of separation. Uh, and in that, I'd just like to, to pick out a couple of groups. I'd just like to say a big thank you to the Sunday School for the work and effort they're doing, uh, Robert and the team. Uh, and I know that they're doing a, a Sunday School on a Sunday morning. We've heard Adam uh, on Sunday past uh, doing uh, a video session with the kids. And uh, we just want to really say thank you for, for all the effort you're putting in there. Uh, and also uh, the source, um, I know you guys are putting in such tremendous effort with the, the young people in the church, um, keeping those, those bonds of fellowship, having Zoom meetings and, and lots of other things. So we really do appreciate it. On that, I, I'd just like to say, if you're not involved in um, any sort of small group or contact group through WhatsApp or Zoom or whatever, uh, and we recognise there are a number in the church who maybe don't fall into any of those groups uh, are not involved. Um, can I suggest that over this period when we're, we're not physically together, that you reach out, that you, you make a phone call, contact me, Simon, anybody within the church who you know, um, just even be part of a, of a WhatsApp group to keep up to date. I know there's emails going out uh, regularly and, and we're trying to keep contact with each other, but... Um, it's a really useful way of, of maintaining fellowship. So can I encourage you, if you're not involved in something, please uh, consider doing that. Um, and in that, I know it's, it's, it's sometimes difficult to be the one to reach out. So uh, there's an onus on us uh, as a fellowship. Um, just think of one another, you know. Uh, just prayerfully consider those other people in the fellowship who you know, who you would normally see on a Sunday morning. Um, consider picking up the phone, sending a text message, even a video call. Uh, it's a great way to to keep that uh, fellowship with one another. So um, we all have a responsibility to, to work as, as the body uh, to support one another through this time of physical uh, separation. So um, the month of April, we are going to read two books together. Uh, we're back into the Old Testament uh, this month. We, we've just uh, completed, or you may be close to completing, uh, the Gospel of Luke. And uh, next month in April, we're going to go back into the Old Testament, and we're going to kind of continue on from our, our book last month, the Exodus. Uh, we looked at the Israelites leaving the uh, Egypt, coming away from Pharaoh and escaping through the Red Sea and being led into the desert. Um, but they, they stopped short of being brought into the promised land because of their disobedience. So this time we're going to look at the book of Joshua first. And this is really the story of the Israelites coming in to take that land. Um, it's a tremendous book full of uh, God showing his power and his strength uh, with a people who, who aren't strong compared to the nations they're going in to take over. Um, so we're going to read the book of Joshua together. And then we're going to look uh, at the short book of Ruth. Uh, it's a couple of books later. And it's it's a completely different scale of a book. It's a lovely little, it's a love story, I suppose. Uh, a tale of a young girl who, who marries a foreigner. Uh, and then sadly that her, her husband uh, dies and his brother and his father. So she ends up having to, to go away to that foreign country herself with her mother-in-law. And it's just a beautiful story uh, about a girl um, following uh, her mother-in-law and then coming to know the, the, the God of, of that nation. Um, just on, on a couple of practical notes on the readings. On the book of Joshua, it, it is quite a, a, a violent book, I suppose, in some ways. Um, 
you know, it doesn't just talk about the Israelites coming into the land, but it also talks about what God does to the people who are currently in the land uh, and his judgment and his justice that he shows in, in those sinful nations. Um, so if you're reading it with kids, maybe you just want to flick through to the next chapter each time and just make sure you're, you're happy uh, to be sharing that with them. Um, yeah, and, and there, there are three things I'd like to, to talk about uh, in, in relation to our readings this month. Firstly, it's uh, the total of the two books is 28 chapters. Uh, so that nicely, uh, nicely fits in again to reading one chapter a day. And, um, and I'd really encourage you this month. Uh, you know, a lot of us have maybe slightly more time on our hands and, and opportunities where we're stuck at home uh, to carve out a, a particular time in the day and uh, study you know read one chapter each day rather than just reading them uh, in a big block you know maybe in two or three sentences uh, to to look at the, the word each day because that's this is this is why we're doing uh, this reading plan this year uh, we want to build those habits of looking at god's word on a regular basis so i'd really encourage you um i had a lovely experience this month um sunday week past the 22nd uh, was the first week when we didn't meet together as a church um, and I was conscious of the fact one of the things obviously we miss is having communion together um, but uh, I, I have been making an effort to read uh, the book of Luke uh, on the days that uh, fit the dates and the 22nd chapter of Luke uh, has the, the upper room uh, experience of Jesus having his last supper with the disciples and it was lovely um sunday week ago in the morning just reading that passage uh and hearing about jesus uh communion service with with his close followers um so i really would encourage you to read the chapters one a day uh, where possible to spread it out and, and to to allow the lord to speak um and that brings me on to my second point um again i've said this before uh, if you are going to read God's word and you want God to speak through God's word, um, I would encourage you to pray before you do it each time. So maybe get that pattern of coming to God's word, opening it up and just asking God simply in prayer, Lord, this is your word. Um, would you would you open it and would you speak to me through it? So I'd encourage you to pray daily and to read the passage. And then thirdly and finally, um, in these particular books, these two books, um, Joshua, the book of Joshua is, 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 a, is a big book. It's about the Israelites coming in to take the land. And, and it's a very big picture book because it talks about uh, what God is doing in that nation. Um, and it's so easy to miss, actually, the personal in that. Uh, Joshua himself, the man who God chose to lead the Israelites into the promised land. So as we come to the book of Joshua, I'd ask you to uh, take time as you read it to think about Joshua himself. Think about his character and what made him a man of God. And then conversely, in the book of Ruth, uh, it is a very personal uh, book. Uh, as I say, it's about a family uh, and their journey uh, to a foreign land. And uh, so I'd encourage you in it to look at God's big picture. Um, as we look at Ruth and, and her journey, um, see how that fits into God's picture and, and maybe take time to look elsewhere in the word of God to see uh, the effect that that had and, and ultimately in, in the line of Christ himself, uh, how Ruth fits into that. So that's it. Um, read each day, pray as you read and look for God to see the big picture and the small personal details. Um, in closing, I'd just like to, I was going to pray, but what I would like to actually do is uh, read a benediction with you from Philippians chapter one. Um, many of uh, Paul's um, letters uh, are written to churches who are far away. And as I was reading this the other day, it made me think of, of us as a fellowship all separated uh, and it just it was just really clearly uh, it was a lovely prayer to pray for one another so you join with me as as i read this and i'm going to read verses 3 through to 11 
I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel. From the first day until now, being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart. For whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless until the day of Christ filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ to the glory and praise of God. Until we see again, God bless.